Okay, so let's do a factory reset on this Kyocera Hydro Shore, okay? This factory reset is um, going from settings of the phone. Uh, okay, if this, you just need to remove Google account or just need to remove any or all the information stored on, the, on this phone's memory, uh, including pictures, videos, contacts, and text messages, um, email addresses, passwords, and everything. We, so just uh, let's go ahead and find settings. All right, settings, and then you're gonna scroll down and find backup and reset, okay? Right, so backup and reset, select that. Uh, backup my data is off. Uh, if you you already have an Google account, I suggest to turn this on so you will be able to um, store any videos, pictures, contacts, applications on your Google account. Okay, so after the factory reset, you will be able to restore them using the same email address. Okay, and something very important to, to mention here is that. Uh, it is important to remember that your email address and password from Google because when, once we do a factory reset um, and you are required to follow the steps by register email language, register Wi-Fi, um, date and time and then you have to confirm the email Google account that it was previously registered on this phone in order to proceed okay so once you confirm that email address, you have the choice to register a new one or keep the same one. Okay, in order for you to uh, use uh, Google products. Uh, if you don't have that email address and you don't know that email address, you won't be able to proceed until uh, to get to the home screen. Okay, and basically you won't be able to use your phone after this. So. If that's that's an issue for you, please don't do the factory reset. If you try or you want to continue using your phone because you won't be able to uh, use it. Okay, so uh, if you understand with this, just and you still want to refactory or the reset on your phone, just uh, this will erase all data from your phone's internal storage, including Google accounts, system apps, and certain downloaded apps music, photos, and other user data, okay? So if you agree with this, just go at the bottom, reset phone, uh, erase all your personal information and download apps. You can reverse this action, okay? So you agree with that, just erase everything, okay? Right, so at this point the phone will power off and on. It took a, it's gonna take a few minutes, so be very, very patient. Uh, until the phone it finished to uh, completely restart your phone okay so <clears throat> right so I have other videos related on this phone uh, in case that you're trying to um, yeah, uh, if the talkback mode is activated on this phone means that when you touch a folder it tells you kind of what's the name of the folder you are touching then um, for some people it's very very useful but some for some people it doesn't it's not very fun to have that feature on because basically you want but you cannot use your phone right so I have a video on how to disable or turn off talkback on this model and I have another some other models on my channel so you're welcome to subscribe if uh, in the future you may need any assistant on any kind of smartphone that you may uh, have in the future. So now we are on the at and logo. So here we're going to take 5 to 8 minutes, okay, um, in order for you to get to home screen. So just be very, very patient. Remember, 5 to 8 minutes, uh, and then you're going to go from there. Okay, so now we are on the uh, main screen of this phone. Either if you turn this phone at the first time, uh, just already have a service. Okay, so now I'm uh, just going to select the, your language, which is English, or uh, any other language you want to register on this phone. And once highlighted, just go to the uh, yellow arrow. 
which is your next and then uh, at this point you can go ahead and insert your sim card okay you already have already have an activated one or you can register your Wi-Fi um, so if not in this case just gonna go and skip skip anyway and you can set your first and last name to uh, secure your phone in case that you lost your phone and uh, they try to enter your passcode or password a couple of times and um, if they are gonna ha find the password or something like that just they're gonna confirm the first and last name register on the phone uh, just to make sure that uh, you are the owner so uh, it's an extra security I recommend you to do this alright so just uh, once you enter just go to next uh, set a screen lock for your phone uh, you can uh, go ahead and set a password pattern or password okay passcode password then uh, if not for now I'm gonna skip the step okay just skip anyway uh, Google services I suggest to have the all the options checked because in the future if you need to find any um, store uh, close from you um, your location then uh, you're trying to find gas station uh, restaurant or any any other important stores for you just uh, the first one that Google wanna tell you is the one that is closest to you so I suggest to leave that on go to next and now you are able to transfer any um, pictures, videos, contacts from your previous phone to this phone. So you can go next to set to sync. If not, just just not now. Exit. Now welcome. Okay, and you are on the home screen. Okay. All right. So thanks so much for following me. Um, if you have any other question on this model please let me know and please subscribe um, in case that you need any other help on this phone for disable, disable talkback or hard reset or master reset factory reset so let me know any other question you may have and thank you for choosing my video